analytics provides capabilities for you to connect to various data sources, sense and understand what has happened through visual analytics, learn by applying machine learning models, and to act in real time. These capabilities are delivered through the three main pillars of the typical analytics portfolio, BI and analytics, data science, and streaming analytics. In our demo today, we'll take a look at how these pieces work together. In this demo, we'll take on the role of a marketing analyst working for a fictitious retailer. We are conducting a marketing campaign where a number of products are on offer. We want to determine the best product to offer to our customers and if we could also cross-sell another product to the customer. In Spotfire, Tipco's visual analytics platform, we have brought in a set of data reflecting our customers' historical purchases. We have developed propensity models for these products. In this Spotfire dashboard, we have grouped our customers by the top product they are likely to buy from the ones on offer. Currently, the promotion involves three products, men's sweaters, women's sweaters, and women's tops. Every point in the plot represents a customer who is most likely to buy the product, her top product. The x-axis is the customer's propensity to buy her top product, and the further right we go, the more likely the customer is to buy her top product. On the y-axis, we measure the similarity in the customer's propensity to buy her second-ranked product. The closer to zero the value is, the more likely it is that the customer will also buy her second-ranked product. With these plots, we have two regions that identify if we shall offer a customer her top product and cross-sell another, or simply offer only her top product. We have also identified customers who are unlikely to buy any of the products on offer and will not make any offers to them during the campaign. Now, we decide to add a fourth product, men's running clothes, to our promotion. As the marketing analyst, we can create a propensity model for men's running clothes using the built-in modeling function in Spotfire. We build a logistic regression model which gives us the propensity score for our customers buying men's running clothes. We train the model using the historical customer purchase data. We want to predict if a customer buys men's running clothes. One indicates that they have bought it before. We use the historical quantity purchased from all product categories as predictors of the model. Spotfire generates the model for us. It shows us the importance of each predictor in predicting the outcome. It plots an ROC curve that lets us evaluate our model. The closer the curve is to the top of the plot, the better the model. When we are happy with the model, we deploy it by exporting the model. Here, we already have the models for the three products on promotion deployed. We are adding the fourth one. Our marketing analyst returns to the dashboard and runs the four propensity models against our customer base to analyze the results. With the addition of a new product, the top products of our customers are re-ranked. Customers who would have been offered something else are now offered men's running clothes if they have a high enough propensity to buy. Those who are likely to buy a second product are made a cross-sell offer. We have learned from our historical data to make predictions for our campaign and we have analyzed the results on static customer profiles in the dashboard. The next step is to use these models in real-life transactions so that we can act upon customers' interactions with our store. 
For this demo, I've created a simulation of customer purchases. I have an engine processing these purchases in real time, applying the models to each purchase to make offers to the customers. I'm starting the stream of customer purchase. On the live monitoring dashboard, we can monitor the offers as they are made. How many best offers and cross-sell offers are there, and what is the acceptance rate? What is the breakdown by products? We see a number of offers being made for each product. The numbers for men's running clothes are still low because we have only just added it to the campaign. We've come to the end of this demo. In this demo, we've seen how typical analytics lets you learn from customer insights from the past and turn them into real-time actions to delight your customers in a campaign.